Hey guys, welcome. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. Um, in uh, two other videos, we'll talk about the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle and also the 15, 75, 90 special right triangle. And um, in three additional videos, so a total of six, but yeah, in three additional videos, I'll also give you uh, specific examples of each variety. Uh, but like I said, let's start with the 45, 45, 90 here in this video. And um, to start our discussion of it, uh, let's begin with a square where a diagonal has been drawn. Notice that as soon as we draw a diagonal on a square, uh, we automatically create two congruent uh, 45, 45, 90 degree triangles, one on the top left and another on the bottom right. We're going to just concern ourselves with this bottom right uh, 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, which is also called a right isosceles triangle, right? Because it's got a 90 degree angle right here. And isosceles, because since it's made by cutting a square in half along the diagonal, uh, we know that uh, this leg of the right triangle and this leg of the right triangle uh, will be equal. And therefore the right triangle will be isosceles and therefore a right isosceles triangle. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now that we've done this, um, let's be uh, very deliberate and label one side of the right triangle X, wherein we know automatically the other side will have to also be X. Cool. And then let's label the hypotenuse of this uh, right isosceles triangle here. Let's label the hypotenuse D um, because I guess also because it's a diagonal of the square. Now, uh, from the Pythagorean theorem, since we're working with the right triangle, we know we can write the following, which is that x squared plus x squared will have to equal d squared. And then we can simplify the left side of this equation by adding the two x squareds and writing 2x squared on the left side. Um, now, uh, this last equation we just showed, we could take the square root of both sides to get just the d on the right side, and then on the left side we'll get the square root of 2 times x squared. And um, we can use square root rules and simplify the left side uh, since we know that the square root of the quantity 2x squared is um, the square root of 2 times the square root of x squared, but we know the square root of x squared is just x, so we can write x times the square root of 2 on the left side. And doing so, we see how to express the hypotenuse of the right isosceles triangle in terms of um, the value of the legs. That is, we see that we can summarize everything in this video uh, with this visual. That is, um, given a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, if uh, one leg is x, then the other leg will have to also be x, and the hypotenuse, as we just saw, will have to work out to be x times the square root of 2. Yeah? All right, cool. I hope you enjoyed this, and watch the videos on the 30, 60, 90, and the 15, 75, 90 and the examples. All right, keep watching. Take care.